this video, we're talking about how to simplify powers of fractions. So basically what we're talking about is we have a fraction and we're raising the entire fraction to a power. The most important thing we need to realize about raising a fraction to some power is that we can apply that exponent, that power, separately to the numerator and denominator. We don't have to deal with the fraction altogether. So in other words, here we have the fraction 2 thirds and we're raising the entire fraction to the power of 3. Well, we can instead take 2 to the power of 3 divided by 3 to the power of 3. So we just applied this exponent to the numerator to get 2 cubed and to the denominator to get 3 cubed. We didn't have to deal with the fraction altogether. Now when we look at this, 2 cubed we know is 8 and if we're not sure we can always write out 3 factors of 2. So 2 times 2 times 2 and in the denominator we have three factors of three, or three cubed, which is three times three times three. And when we simplify that, we get eight over 27, because two times two is four, four times two is eight, so we get eight in the numerator, and three cubed, we get three times three is nine, and nine times three is 27. So the final answer here then is eight over 27. We can do this with variables also. So if we look at this fraction, we have x squared over a cubed, and that whole fraction is raised to the power of two. Well, we can apply this exponent separately to the numerator and denominator. So we can get x squared and then squared again, and a cubed and then squared again like this. That's of course gonna give us x squared times x squared, and in the denominator, a cubed times a cubed, and remember when we multiply like bases, we just add the exponents, so x squared times x squared gives us x to the two plus two, or x to the four, and a cubed times a cubed gives us a to the three plus three, or a to the sixth. As you get more practice, you might find that it's faster not to distribute the exponent across the numerator and denominator. What you can do instead is realize that you have this whole fraction, this is a factor, and this exponent is telling you that you have two factors of this fraction. In other words, you wanna take the whole fraction and multiply it by itself. So this is the same as x squared over a cubed times x squared over a cubed, and now you can just multiply across your numerator and denominator, right? We basically got to this point. We just didn't distribute the exponent directly across the numerator and denominator. And so of course you'd still end up with x to the fourth over a to the sixth. Let's look at an example where we do that straight from the beginning. So here we have the square root of two over four and that whole fraction raised to the power of three or cubed. Well here, this is gonna be the same thing as square root of two over four times square root of two over four times square root of two over four because we have three factors of this fraction. Then when we multiply across directly, we get square root of two times square root of two times square root of two. If we combine this square root of two with this square root of two, that's gonna be equal to two. So we'll end up with two times the square root of two like this. And then in our denominator, four times four is 16 times four again is 64. So we get 64. And now we can just reduce the fraction by dividing both the numerator and the denominator by two. So two divided by two gives us one, so we just end up with the square root of two. And in our denominator, 64 divided by two is gonna give us 32. So our final answer becomes root two over 32.